There are two swords in Block's Fruits, the one held in the left hand and the right hand, combined to become the strongest sword in the game. And because I want to be the best at this block game, I want to get them to see if they will make me better. But to do that, it's not going to be easy. Since the first sword, Tushita, is going to need us to become level 2000, and I'm level 1862. <sighs> okay, that's going to take a while. And this is only the first part of getting these two cursed swords. Oh yeah, did I mention they are cursed? Exactly, spookiness times two. I'll get into the other parts of the swords once we make some more progress. And for Yama, the other sword, I also need to kill at least 30 elite hunters. So the plan is to multitask and level up while also fighting elite mobs. I also thought it would be fitting if we get these levels using the katana. You know, it makes perfect sense. And also the Buddha fruit because I'm not built for this. Oh, look at this katana. We've done 100 whole damage. That's huge. I need to change my stats. All right, what do we go for? I guess we go max defense, max sword, and then a little bit of melee because we're a sword fighter today. How much damage do we do now? Oh yeah, this is huge damage. We're going to be grinding and leveling up in no time. I say that, but yeah, this is gonna take ages. At least my sword slashes look cool with this katana. I've already got all of its moves. That was so easy. This is like practice for what's to come. This is a regular old katana. We're about to be using a cursed katana soon. Oh wait, those aren't even the mythological pirates. I'm, I'm literally fighting the wrong mobs. I need to be grinding these things over here. Yeah, so much XP. I can barely see these guys. I need to have observation on. But first things first, we need to try and get to level 2000. And if you can't tell because of my terrible katana mastery, this is gonna take literally ages. I was born and raised in the grind though. After all, I'm already level 1800. Anybody that's over level 1500 in Blocks Roots is an absolute grinding god because this takes so much grinding. And I also can't forget, we gotta put some double XP on. We gotta go max efficiency, spend all the Robux. Now we've got six hours of double XP. This should go twice as fast. I say struggling to kill one mob. <laughs> this is gonna be so rough. Wait, hang on a second. I need to see these moves in action. Air slash. That looked like big damage and quiet rush. Wow, I really am the best swordsman already. That's crazy. And with just one quest completion, we're already like two whole levels higher. Wow, only 130 more to go. This is gonna take ages. You know, once we get to level 1900, I think we upgrade from the katana. But let's go see if there's an elite mob we can go and take down. I'm feeling a bit devious. I feel like I could defeat him with my super strong katana. Well, there is a lot of people here. Yo, don't mind me, guys. I'm just trying to see if there's an elite hunter. Never mind. These guys have already fought one. Wait, these guys are fighting Indra? Well, they can have fun with that. I don't think I'd be able to help with my little puny katana. I am off back to grinding. Bro, they've made my grinding painful. I can't see. They just changed the weather to mist. Ah, <sighs> right. I'm gonna have to wait until they finish the Indra fight because not only does it make it impossible to see as a Buddha, but it's like two times harder to see. Now that I can finally see that the mist is gone, I can work on properly grinding these mythological pirates. I think I'm here for 10 more levels and then we're moving on to a completely different grind spot. This is taking so long just to grind two levels. Surely that's a different way to get levels in this game. Game, right? It can't just be left click simulator until you get to level 2000. I refuse to believe it. Like I'm still getting some mastery on the sword, but at what cost? I'm losing my sanity. And oh wait, we got a new quest. Maybe this will give me some more XP. Captain Elephant. Oh, 90 million XP. Oh yeah, this is it. This is what I've been waiting for. I just hit a wall. Okay, Captain Elephant. I don't think you've ever seen a katana this strong before. It's actually kind of working. Like, usually I get completely destroyed by Captain Elephant, but, you know, he's been awfully quiet since I pulled out this katana. Never mind, he's destroying me now. Okay, I gotta be careful. I gotta say, this sword is actually really underrated. Why do more swords in this game not have this, like, attack pattern? I go down on a knee and do, like, a spin. It's so cool. Easily cleanest sword. Or at least easily the cleanest common sword. Okay, I'm getting absolutely destroyed. Can you, like, stay away, Captain Elephant? Like, go away. This is not easy. Okay, dodge and he just hits me. What? Oh, the backup has arrived. This guy's got the dragon for- Yes, yes, yes. I need the backup. Help. Help me. Help me. Nice, nice. Big, huge damage, in fact. Oh! <laughs> no, please, no, please, no, please. Help me, dragon guy. Where'd Captain Elephant go? Oh, he's there. Oh! I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. I'm already dead. Just dig me a grave already. Bro, he hits through observation. Wait, do I need observation V2 to, like, deal with that move? Is that what I'm missing? Oh! I'm gonna die. He's so nearly dead. Please, just die already. Oh no. Yes! How many levels? Just three? Is that it? All that suffering for three levels. You know what? I'm off back to the regular grind. I thought that might be better, but it really just wasn't. There we go. Level 1900. Finally! It's taken so long. But this leveling method, it ain't it, Chief. I've got 277 katana mastery. Not only do we need to change our method of leveling, but we also need to upgrade. There we go. We've got the dual katanas now. We're getting some practice in for what we're gonna get by the end of all of this. But I've been told of a pretty 
pretty good leveling method that might actually be like a oh, free fruit. That might actually be really amazing for me right now. But we need to head back to the second sea to do this. So in the second sea, in this unsuspecting little cave thing, if I come through here, then I believe this area right here is exactly where we do the raid. Like it's a special raid, limited edition. And this should give me like six levels every single time we do it. And if it doesn't, then I've just been completely lied to and I'm going to cry. And we're in. This is the law raid, which is it's so hard to see things. Wait, I need my Buddha fruit on. I've got portal on. This is not good. I need to get damage as well. Okay, here we go. Activate Haki. What is he? Where is Law or Order or whatever he's called in this? There he is. Oh, this dual katana does like double the damage of the regular one. And it's mastery one. Where'd he go? There he is. Bro, he's running away. Tornado. Boom. Oh, he's got me. Chill, Order. It's not that deep. Just become fodder and mastery for me. Wait, I'm so stupid. I just realized something. I completely forgot to do elite hunter missions while I was grinding in the third sea. So I'm going to have to go back and do all of those after we've done this. Since I need basically like 100 more levels, we're going to need to beat Order 15 times at least. That's if they were even telling the truth about it giving six levels. If they weren't, well, it's going to take way longer than 15. Can he stop telep- Why does he teleport around so much? Just let me defeat you. Oh, he's so nearly dead. Oh, Oh, he's so near. Boom. One, two, three, please. Four, five, one more. Six. Oh my God. Wait, this is easily the best leveling method in the entire game. I've found the best method to level. This is actually crazy. And why did nobody tell me about this sooner? This would have been so useful to know. Law number two, number three. That's number four. That is number five, six. There's number seven, eight, that's nine, 10, there's 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And with 15 of those raids complete, I'm level 1992. We're so close. You know what? I'm going to do another one. If we do one more, then I'll put us on 1998 and we'll just basically be there. So that's the play. We do one more and then we're pretty much done for good. At least we're done doing the very first part of getting the swords. Yes. That was easy. I totally wasn't using the dark blade that entire time. I was, yeah, definitely using these dual katanas. So that means we've done all the grinding we need. Minus two levels. So we need to go get those final two levels. We might finally be able to get our first cursed katana. Now for the final two levels, we can get a quest here, I think. Yeah, haunted castle. If we fight these, no. If we fight these, no. Wait, where am I meant to be fighting? Over here. We can defeat these reborn skeletons. And then this should give us the final two levels we need. Oh, it's these guys. It's the spooky skeletons. Nice. I'm somewhat of a master at defeating these guys, so this is going to be easy. Oh, we got a new move. Tornado. Kind of bad. I'm definitely switching back to the Buddha fruit. It just makes grinding with swords so much easier. And now we just need to smack every single skeleton in this graveyard. Wait, these guys are strong. They just got to miss all their attacks and then I should be fine. You know, I wish I could see, but I'm just getting too much mastery. Can I see now? There's another skeleton. Right, this is the last one. Boom. Mastery 2000. New title unlocked, the pioneer. Yeah, I'm somewhat of a pioneer. Whatever that means. Now that I've got my 2000 levels, I need to then summon the Rip Indra boss with the God's Chalice. Then I need to head to a secret temple on Hydra Island and get a torch. And then I need to use that torch to light five other torches. Also, I've only got five minutes to do that from when Rip Indra spawns. While I'm waiting for Rip Indra to spawn, how many elite mobs have I killed to try and get Yama? My progress is 26. How many did I need? I needed to defeat 30 elite hunters. Hunters. So I'm only four away. Well, I guess that means that we should get Yama way before Tushita. So let's just scrap the whole Rip Indra finding thing for now. And instead, we're going to fight elites. Here it is. The first elite boss we got to take down is Urban. I've been training for this moment. Obviously, we're going to defeat him with our dual katana. But honestly, this guy's nothing. Wait, I'm actually kind of destroying him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, Urban. Why are you so angry? Oh, that is a big... Oh, that's a big lightning ball. Ow. I'm going to need to do this a few more times. Okay, we got to beat him fast. That's another big lightning ball. No, 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 no. Oh, wasn't even close. I got a chalice. Wait, don't I need that for Indra? Imagine he got the chalice right now too. You don't have to imagine because it's real, which means now as soon as I do these other four elites, we can do the rip Indra thing. Do we have our next elite hunter mission? DeAndre roaming around the great tree. Okay, I got this with my chalice. Great tree. Where is he? He's not ready. DeAndre. Oh, there he is. Here goes. I got to activate observation hockey or I will die. This is kind of scary. Like I'm holding this chalice. If I die with this, it'll all be for nothing. There's nothing like a bit of spice though. <gasps> he's got the magma for it. Nobody told me he had the magma for it. Oh, this is kind of scary now, actually. Now that I know he's got the magma. Oh my God. Oh my God. What did he hit me with? Why is this actually scary? Oh God. Oh God. Oh, stop DeAndre. Stop. What I do to you? I mean, yes, I attacked you first, but relax. Boom. I just sent him to space. Wait, that's not DeAndre. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. I thought I broke it. Bro, what is this boss's problem? Can you not? Take this, DeAndre. Take this. 
Boom! Another elite defeated. Only like two more to go. And then we can get Tushita. This video has been a bit all over the place because I needed like items and then I needed levels and then I didn't know which weapon I was gonna get. But we're gonna get Tushita first and then Yama second. There we go. That's elite enemy number 29, which means just one more. And then we can get our first cursed katana. So I did a little research and it turns out you don't actually need 30 elites for Yama. 30 is the maximum and that gives you a 100% chance. So do I risk the god's chalice and try and get Yama? This could be glorious. Maybe I give it a try for all, <laughs> for all the marbles. Let me in. Don't full caps. Look at it though. It's right there. It's beautiful. You may die. I like those kind of odds though. I really want to try it. No, no, no. Let's not be stupid. It took me ages. And by that, I mean first try to get this god's chalice, but I don't know how long it would take me to get it back. So let's not be stupid. We'll go back to the sea castle before I make a very, very grave mistake. I got this little god's chalice in my hand. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, <laughs> I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall off the map. <laughs> you are scaring me by jumping. I'm gonna keep on doing it then. <laughs> oh, nearly fell off. Man, waiting for elite hunters to spawn is boring. I thought of something really fun we can do while we wait for an elite to spawn. The blocks fruit gacha. Let's see what we get. We got a dark fruit. That's terrible. And somehow I got a spin fruit as well. I don't want either of those. And here it is. The final elite I need to take down. It's another DeAndre. That's kind of scary. Oh, I... he's, uh, he's going to half. Where'd he go? Oh, he was hiding behind a tree. These blocks fruit bosses sometimes actually have a brain. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. If I keep playing like an idiot, I'm actually gonna die. We're going all in. Send him to the moon. Think about what you've done. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm actually gonna die. I can't turn left. Is my keyboard broken? I can go right. Okay, that works. I'm actually gonna lose my mind. I can't go left. Oh, now I can go left. Why was I broken? Okay, just hit, just hit, just hit. Just hit. Oh my god, this is getting close. All right, you're dead. Boom! How are you alive? Please just die. Yes. I found another strange item. What does that mean? Have I got God's Chalice Squared, the ultimate item now? If I talk to the Elite Hunter, progress, like, just gotta make sure. Yep. So far, you have defeated 30 Elite enemies for me. With this, we're heading back to that secret waterfall, which is at the Hydra Island all the way over here, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the place. This is the place. Here it goes. So we need to come down here, and then we're breaking this door. We're breaking in. Where are the skeletons? Have they already been cleared? Wait, this is kind of scary. If this sword, for some reason, doesn't accept me, then it's game over. I'll lose the chalice. I'll lose everything everything. Sword. I'm actually nervous because like, does it bug if you've already like attempted to pull it out before? Please work. Accept me, Yama. The sword doesn't seem to budge. Try again. Dot, dot, dot. You managed to make it budge just a little. Try again. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. It appears there is a curse on the sword. If you continue, you might die. Try again. Here goes. Please. Accept me! The sword has accepted you as its new owner. Obtained Yama. Oh, it's beautiful! Look at it. Look at the hockey color. What? I'm looking devious now. <gasps> That's a ghost. That's a ghost. Run away. How do I get out? Let me out. Break the door! Break the door! <laughs> I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I didn't have a move to get out. All right. Now we need to spawn Rip Indra. And then we'll have both of the cursed katanas. All the hacky colors have been placed in. As soon as I put this chalice on here, we've got five minutes to do everything. I'm nervous. I didn't mean to spawn him in. Okay, we go. We go. We go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Full speed. Full speed. We go through here. We're going back to the water fountain. It is so misty. It's bright. I'm being flashbanged. I should not have recorded this at nighttime. It's piercing. Okay, we go through here again. Do I have a move to break the wall? Does this work? Yes, 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 we're in. All right, now we just need to kill all these things. Fight all the ghosts. Fight all the ghosts. Kill them all. We need to defeat them all so it opens. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yes, now I go up here. Wait, why is it not opening? Oh, it's open. Oh, I nearly had a heart attack. Let me through. Begin, you have five minutes. I've got my holy torch, right? So I've learned the path. I've memorized it. When it wasn't misty, though, I can't see. Where was the first one? It was like over here somewhere. Was it this one? That's number two. I've forgotten where one is because I can't see. I'm like blind. <laughs> oh no, this is really not good. I memorized it perfectly when there wasn't smoke everywhere. Oh yeah, it was over here. It was over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one. Wait, holy torch, light. Is it lit? Yes, it is. All right, then where do we go from here? We go this way. I wish I could see. Oh yeah. Number two. Okay, cool. Go, 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 go. Number three was like this way. Wait, no, it wasn't. It was this way. I'm throwing. I'm throwing. Where's the bro where's the brown path? I can't see anything. <laughs> go, 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 go. Number three was this way. I gotta activate Mink or I'm not gonna make it. It was like up here. Uh, Holy Torch. That's number three. All right, now we go to the boat. To the boat, to the boat. Where is the boat? I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Light of a full moon. No, no, no. Now's not the time, full moon. Now's not the time. Where boat? Where boat? I'm struggling. I think it's this way, right? Is this the mansion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so close. Over here. We go around this way. I gotta preemptively have the torch out. And that's 
That's number four. Here we go. Number five is on a random house somewhere. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm, I am speed. There it is. Number five. Well done. You may enter my hideout now. Right, so said I had two minutes left. That was easy. I had so much time to spare. What was I even like worried about? Okay, where are we going? Where is his hideout? I have no idea where his hideout is and it's still completely misty. So it's not really a good combo. Ligma, is this you? Oh, it is. Do we have to defeat him? I guess we're fighting Ligma. We got to defeat him. Okay. I've now got access to this boss. Is that what this means? Because this is one of the bosses that I never had access to in the past. Oh, is that one of Tushita's moves? That seems OP. That's going to be mine. In uh, literally one minute, it's going to be mine. I don't want to die because I feel like if I die, the quest is going to fail. So let's not do that. I've got him in a corner right where I need him. Bro, he's so annoying to fight. Get over here. And there we go. Item drop Tushita. Oh, it's clean looking. I am now the celestial swordsman. Look at it. It's beautiful. So I've got both of these legendary cursed swords now, which means that next time we're going to be able to get the cursed dual katana.